temperatures plunged into an uncomfortable level for Floridians recently. Even now, local farmers continue to work to clean up after the hard freeze. WFT's Dara Getter joins us live from Field and Fork Farm, which has been affected by the cold. And Dara, it had a ripple effect on the food pantry too. Yeah, the weather has had a wider impact on crops. We're in an El Nino climate pattern right now, and that typically means colder than normal temperatures. But as we look ahead to temperatures in the 80s this week, local growers are still recoiling from the hard freeze. For farmers like Cody Galligan, making ends meet this winter has been difficult. And this winter has been actually one of the coldest winters we've experienced here since we've been farming for 14 years in Gainesville. The time it takes to prepare for a freeze event hurts the Ember Farms production efforts. You know, maybe we just lost like 10, 15 percent of our crop, but the overall winter, you know, there's just the overall effect of having an extra cold winter is more substantial where we're, you know, we're actually kind of like 40 percent behind schedule with just our growth in general. Cody sells his produce at local farmers markets. Lately, he hasn't had much to sell. Instead of selling one head of lettuce for a price, we're having to sell, you know, we're having to combine two heads to get that same price. Hard freeze events like this not only affect the farmer. The value of our crop is, is cut in half. But also the consumer. It could get pretty fun to kind of finagle through all of the covered plants in order to actually get something that somebody wanted to buy. Keaton Hannon says Garden Gate Nursery is fortunate enough to be able to bring plants inside or cover them with frost cloth. Most of the revenue loss was likely due to the employees needed to do all of this. The frost cloth only helps so much. If we get an extreme cold, you know, the frost cloth can only keep the plants, you know, a few degrees warmer. Keaton says the cleanup process is just as tedious as making preparations. And picking those pieces, I'd probably say it was anywhere between two or three hours total for that first covering. All they can do is adapt to the changing climate and remain hopeful. And Field and Fork farmer Noah Long tells me that between the lack of sunshine and the El Nino climate pattern, his supply to the Field and Fork food pantry on the UF's campus has been cut short. Reporting live in Gainesville, I'm Dara Getter, WUFT News.